Good morning, I am Pete, also known as Risk for Rewards over on Twitter. And today we are here to have a little short update ready for the Aintree Festival. As you can see, I have got the Risk for Rewards blog. This is the website you can find at www.riskforrewards.co.uk. So why am I here to give you a quick two minute chat? It's just to basically say this is pretty much the last opportunity if you want to sign up that you would probably logically sign up for. Um, I've had a few people ask at Cheltenham, is the boat sailed, blah, blah, blah. Is there any point in signing up anymore? The service finishes on the 11th of May. So between now and the 11th of May, there is about five weeks. But obviously, if you're signing up between now and say Wednesday, Thursday of the Aintree Festival, you're going to get at least four weeks of it. So you're going to get the majority. So by getting the majority, what I'm trying to say is the fact that you're going to get all the Aintree content, which is, well, started today. I've just sent out a, a selection for Aintree this morning. Um, you're also going to get, obviously, Aintree Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There'll be a blog content and selections for each races uh, for each race across the whole of those three days 21 races a separate blog for the grand national itself covering obviously the 34 runners um and then next the week after there'll then be an entry review with horses to take out of it for punches town and also horses to take out of it for the cheltenham festival 2025 um, we've then got, I think it's a week gap, and then we do the same again for Punchestown. So I'll be covering all of the selection, uh, all of the content for Punchestown. Um, and then the same, obviously, I'll also be covering the 2,000 and 1,000 guineas, which ends Punchestown weekend. And in between Aintree and Punchestown, we'll also cover the Scottish Grand National. So in reality, as much as, yes, okay, Cheltenham's finished, there's probably not a better time to sign up for this one month if you're looking for one month inclusive because obviously you're going to get Aintree, Scottish Grand National, Punches Town and you're also going to get the um, 2,000 and 1,000 guineas. So I'm just here to just obviously flag that up. People have been asking so it's just easier just to give a quick short video. And obviously if you do sign up, there's people who have asked me many, many questions about um, obviously Cheltenham, like what content you get, what's this, what's that. I have been on Twitter for a long time so a lot of people do know. But if you sign up obviously you can now go on here and if you sign up say you signed up today this is sunday 10 o'clock in the morning if you signed up you can go back and you can look at all this content that i provided for the cheltenham festival so if you're looking for next year thinking okay what did he put up you can go through and you can look at all the different days of the cheltenham festival and say oh, okay that's a race he targets or yeah okay i like what he put or no that's not worth it for me um and the other side of things as well is the fact that obviously whilst it also is important obviously the entry festival is important the Cheltenham Festival reviews there from this year, which has got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's got the 2025 Cheltenham Antipost shortlist and it's got the flat 2024 Antipost. All of these are obviously all still here. Some the prices may have moved a little bit, but some generally a lot of the prices are still going to be there. So you get all of that sort of action as well. And then finally, the only other thing that I will flag up is, where is it? Risk for rewards, Antipost notifications. So by joining Risk for Rewards, as soon as you join up, you have to contact me, whether it's through the email on the service or through the Twitter. You contact me, just drop me your Twitter handle and say, I've uh, I've approved, I've, I've clicked to be approved, please. And there's a separate risk for rewards anti-post group. And this is where obviously all the anti-post selections go on. So the perks with if you join it now is that after this month, I'm obviously reverting back to the flat. All of my content will be on Twitter and YouTube, but it will go on the Twitter group. It will go on the private Twitter group first. So if you've joined, then you're in that private Twitter group for the next seven months. So if I get and all the jump stuff, so stuff for Cheltenham Festival next year will only go on the Twitter group. It won't go on YouTube and it won't go on um, general public Twitter, my normal Twitter. It'll only go on the private risk for rewards anti-post group. So if you're already in that group, then it doesn't matter anyway. You've obviously only paid for this month, but you won't be booted out. You'll then be in for the next six months across the summer. So you'll get any flat selections. If I say, oh, I like this for the Epsom Derby, they'll obviously go in there first. I will be obviously taking a, a, a more laid back approach throughout the summer. Um, but at the same time, you're in the group. It's just an extra freebie if you are signing up this month. So that's it from me. We are still looking to do a entry preview. It's just proven slightly difficult because it's very difficult to do a preview, say, today, because this is today I would have liked to have done it. Um, I would have liked to have done a YouTube preview this evening. But there's very little content provided by, obviously, the big... Um, well, the people who have access to it, things like Race and Post, Race in the UK so far, um, on stables. So they're not telling you, OK, I'm looking at sending, say, Grey Dawning to this race or is Jerry Coloma likely runner? All we have at the moment is that horses have been entered. 
but that makes very little guarantee that those horses will definitely run. So there's some that are multiple entered and some that they just won't run regardless. So all the same, we are going to aim to do one. I just don't know when it will be. And we'll just have to play it by ear and we'll see. But it will all go up on Twitter as we get closer. So if you're not signing up or if you are going to Aintree and anything else, I hope you have a brilliant week for the Aintree Festival and good luck.